My laptop is sad. Not mentally, just physically. It has survived the last five years with me. Well, kind of. You see, the power button ripped clean off the motherboard. It is now lost to the sands of entropy. So now I use a paperclip to press the secret service button. No, not that secret service. It just pulls up a hidden menu. The screen is a little bent from when a kid on another scooter hit and ran me. <laughs> Long story. And yes, that is my brain. But hey, at least it protected my spine. But worst of all, the keyboard is dying. For the second time. Let me tell you, trying to use a laptop and having the E key not perform adequately is the most enraging thing I've ever experienced. You know, the first time I thought it was because I spilled tea on it. But when my brother's identical laptop and my keyboard replacement all failed the same. I think it might be a design flaw. Anyways, I'm not letting it die on me now. I figured since I've already replaced the keyboard once, the only next logical step is to put a full mechanical keyboard in it, among other modifications. All made possible by this video's sponsor, PCBWay. More on them later. Okay, but for real, the plan is simple really. Just take out all of the current electronics, slide them down, and insert a mechanical keyboard. Now, you might notice some empty space. Boom, more IO. Yeah, it'll be a little thicker. Leave me alone! Now it's a ThinkPad. But can your ThinkPad do this? That's what I thought. Okay, I think it's time we broke the, or I meant improve this thing. Here's what we're working with. How'd that get there? You know, I think iFixit would we'll actually give this laptop a pretty good score. Oh, don't worry, it's going to get much worse. Now, if you look really closely at our plan from before, you'll see that it's Microsoft Paint and in fact not a laptop. So, uh, and this keyboard is definitely not fitting. Just a few measurements later, and, well, I guess it's time to cosplay a mechanical engineer again. What do you mean? I totally wasn't doubting my abilities at 2.37 in the morning. <laughs> yes, it did legitimately take me over 12 hours. You know, who would have thought designing a whole laptop would be so complicated? This looks nice and all, but you might be asking how I'm going to make all those precise bends and nice sheet metal fabrication. Well, let's just take a peek at all the tools at my disposal by just looking around my very large student apartment. My water jet might struggle with the small holes, and my industrial sheet metal bender is way too big for this task. Also, my welder can't do aluminum, but that's besides the point. If you have this problem too, let PCBWay do it for you. Just upload your beautiful 3D model to their website. Make it out of titanium. You know you want to. And get your free estimate. Anyone want 10,000? Oh, did I mention they make PCBs? Now, I don't know much about PCBs, but if these rulers are anything to go by, they look pretty dang good. This might be the straightest thing I own. Congratulate them on their 10th anniversary. That's a lot of coupons. So, next time you want to bring your ideas to life, consider PCBWay. Thank you, PCBWay. Wow, would you look what I found at the door? <laughs> okay, but to be completely honest, PCBWay outdid themselves. I can get used to my stupid ideas looking this good. Oh right, keyboard. Sorry, I got distracted. So I got this low-profile mechanical keyboard. Cause, you know, thick. And yes, I got it in red. Oh, sorry, sorry. Eh, it sounds alright. It's grown on me. <laughs> You'll hear it pretty soon. 
Small issue. Though it's not bad, this keyboard is still too thick. Like, what's that, brother? Surgery time. Keyboard. Now, after extracting a few more parts, Avengers! Assemble. Hey, you. you really thought it was going to be that easy? It's never that easy. Who do you think I am? I just spent two months putting a desktop keyboard in a five-year-old laptop. But you just want to see the final product already. So neat. No, oh, but really, I documented every small issue. There was too many, there was too many small issues. Welcome to why I'm not a mechanical engineer. Funny story. Small, small issue, small issue, small issue. Small issue. issue. No problems with PCB way though. They were great. I'm going to offer a compromise. I'm just gonna explain how I did it real quick, okay? Just 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 for a little bit. First I put in the adapter. <laughs> yes, there is a full USB-C adapter inside of my laptop. Don't act surprised. It's on double-sided tape. Don't worry, it's that fancy stuff that all the brain rot content makes stress balls out of. But since tape isn't great for sheer. There's a piece of aluminum angle super glued in to back it. It actually worked pretty well. Stay focused, the super glue becomes a big player. Not to toot my own horn, but dang, can I say I'm an engineer? I would like you to inspect how well I measured these with my $1 Harbor Freight calipers. Of course, the USB C cable isn't long enough, so there's a whole extension cable in there too. Very small one. Keyboard time. Simplest way to plug it in ended up being this 90 degree USB-C cable. But oh, where to plug it in? That's right, the hidden USB port. See, I thought of this. But just plugging it in would be too easy, so I soldered it onto the tiny pins on the back. I cannot express how excited I am that this worked. Little did he know, I rewired it three more times after that video. Ended up being the wires, I guess? Not my solder job. Now it's this nice ribbon cable. Yay! Last but not least, everything else. I got tired of thinking after 12 hours of catting, so I just left a small task, like, you know, mounting everything to future me. I ended up making little studs by super gluing aluminum plates with screws to the inside. Just make sure to scratch the plates before super gluing. I learned the hard way. May or may not have taken this mid plate out over 10 times. For various reasons. So now the keyboard's just held in by being sandwiched. And last, the screen has these. <laughs> had these long brackets. These are the only bolts that go to the outside. Super glue's too weak for that. Last, but actually last, the bottom, I don't know, it's Lexan. I drilled a lot of holes. Because a computer needs to breathe or something? To the few that made it, thank you. Here's your reward. Okay, okay, are you ready for what you've been waiting for? Here's the sound test.
I don't know. I like how it sounds. Honestly, I kind of love it. It is, it is big. <laughs> and yes, the power button is also a mechanical key switch. And I don't hate the I.O. in the front. It's kind of great. You can just like plug in whatever, like a USB stick or something. I also love the transparent bottom. You can see everything going on in there. My beautiful engineering. What matters is I have a whole mechanical keyboard on my laptop. It has been quite the conversation starter. Honestly, I think this is one of my coolest projects. And seeing a part come from a manufacturer and have it just looked this good is honestly quite the experience. <laughs> like even though it's jank, it looks good. <laughs> Subscribe. Maybe you'll see something silly like this again. <laughs>